Hey folks, AJ here, and this is going to be kind of like a one-off video that's inside of my vlog for the day while I'm here at Lebanon. A bunch of y'all have asked how to make SDI cables, so we're going to show you how to do it. It's really simple. So the first thing you need is obviously you need some RG6. That is the brand of cable. Now, granted, you could get um, specifically one that says this. I bought mine, my RG6, a 250 spool, foot spool at Lowe's or you can Home Depot or something like that. I will tag a link um, in this video for that. And I just cut this length of it. This actually I had left over. So this is going to be dual purpose here. I think this is going to be more than enough for um, my monitor here. So I'm going to purpose it for this. So you need a couple of tools. Um, first, I'm sorry. Let me not say tools first. Well, nah, let's finish with tools. So you need a crimper here that will crimp down the compression head that we're going to put on here. And then you can see it's a little arm in there and just pushes down and pushes pressure to keep, put the, uh, the terminator on here, the BNC connector, compresses on here and pushes it to be tight. Then you also need a kind of like a cable splicer. This one actually does it all in one fell swoop. You need to leave some of the copper wire exposed. That's what does the connection. Then it has some shielding and then it's the insulation on the outside. I don't remember the exact specs of uh, the length and all this other stuff like that. So sorry. So please don't beat me up in the comments because I'm not super, super specific. Maybe I'll put it in the description or something like that um, or add that later when I'm doing this. All right. So first off, make sure you get RG6 as well, because I made the mistake when I ordered some of these from Amazon that I got RG59, I believe, and the diameter of the hole, I don't know if you can see that in there, is not as big, is not wide enough for RG6. So that's why you got to make sure you get RG6 cable and you get the RG6 BNC connectors that will go in there. All right, so in the way this one will work is you push this through until I'm right there at the tip, clamp it down. And then pull and as you can see I have exactly the length that's needed for these cables here hopefully I can you can see that fine all right now all we got to do is line up the pin that's inside of here with this and then force it all the way down to where it's gonna t contact that pin that's in there that's good now this also has a crimp on here as well too the only reason I don't use it because it doesn't fit with this connector and then sometimes you got to be careful of your connectors too because I mean compression tool because sometimes it will bend the pins inside of it so we got it lined up there and then I just push it down here Alrighty, like that. All right, and trying to pull it is tight. Cool. Now we're just gonna do the other end, and then I don't think I have the adapters on here um, to use my line tester on this. You could, I just don't have the adapter to go on the other end of this. For BNC, if I was using kind of like an F connector, like the typical ones that you would see for an antenna or for coax for like your cable modem or something like that, it would work. But these ones I don't. All right, so now we just got to do the other end the exact same way. down right there and it'll be better if I had an overhead camera but I'm not at home <laughs> like I said I'm on site doing this and I didn't spin that one enough 
to get the insulation off of there. So let's just do this again. Oh, hey, there it goes. It came off fine. All right, so now get another connector. Line that up. Push it as far as it will let you go without bending the uh, compression connector. All right. So line it up. Then just don't over hit it because we don't want to bend. It won't, shouldn't go so far. Don't force it if it doesn't go any further. And boom, there we go. Very straightforward. I mean, the tools are going to probably cost you more than everything. So that 250 foot cable um, roll of RG6 was about $50, $60. Then this was $25. Actually, I bought this. This came with a bundle with a bunch of connectors. So you could do that, but this is maybe like $10. You may be able to get a combination of two. Just make sure that the reason I had to buy another one because the connectors I bought did not work. And then I bought a bunch of connectors from Amazon because buying four of them from Lowe's or Home Depot was $10. It was 25 of these from Amazon for $14. So <laughs> you do what you want to do. So that's it. So we're going to rinse and repeat, make a couple of these. Um, SDI cable is good because it can go for 300 feet. And that's more than enough that I'm going to be doing here. So... Let's go ahead and, well, that answers the question, hopefully, that somebody asked me in Q&A to go over that. That was Augustine who asked for that. There you go. And like I said, links will be in the description for how to make SDI cable yourself.